I might do something this way. You know, that's just a hint, you know, and just giving you a heads up, okay? Uh, face that berm right there, and go ahead and make ready. You're good right there. Now, your dog, is he a lover boy, or is he, if you put him in your house, would he, uh, would he, you know, ferret out the, the uh, crooks that were in there? Or is he... Um, I'd probably let him go first. Uh-huh. At very close to the same time, I'd probably let him go, and I'd be right behind him. Um, because he's not going to, if it was one guy, even if he had a gun, he'd, be, he'd go down. But if it was two guys, mm -hmm. at least he's a barrier. Okay. Because if you see a 110-pound, you right. know, shepherd. German shepherd with one-inch teeth coming at you, right. you're not going to see the person behind him. Right, yeah. So, if nothing else, it gives me a second to, okay, left, right face to the bedroom, get the guns. Or, all right. I've got guns all over the place. But your dog, he's not attack trained or, or uh, canine trained type. Of, oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. And any time you're in there and you want to transition from one weapon system to another, feel free to do so. I'm thinking this is going to be mostly pistol, but we'll see. All right, I'll take the carbine. That's what we brought it here for. Well, I wanted to see uh, how it would go. I'm pretty sure how it'll go, but we'll see. All right. It's not going to get in the way. Hey, okay. all begins at the door. What's up? Okay, coming up to the door on the right, the T intersection. What are we going to take first? The only reason I stopped is I knew it was a headshot. Okay. Unarmed person. Your arm.
muscle. I go ahead and holster it. Do what you need to do. Pack those and holster.